Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to talk about uh, Disney Pixar's Turning Red mm -hmm. again, which apparently is a deliberate metaphor for puberty and menstruation. Shocker. Shocker. I mean, it's like, you don't say. We're going we're gonna to talk about it, not because of that. We'll, we'll mention it in this video, but there were some tweets going around yesterday where people were calling out that they think Pixar is getting lazy. They don't like the art style. They're going bean mouth. They're going all Which bean they mouth. Which they did kind of with Luca too. They did. They did. And uh, it's interesting to see the reaction to this. And it was tr actually trending this morning that people were having a conversation. That's what we're going to call it on Twitter. A conversation about the Pixar art style uh, being watered down from what it was, but um, yeah, we'll, we'll talk about this. There's probably a couple of factors going on here mm -hmm. um, for sure. And before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Over 257,000 subs. Yay! Thank you so much for the support. We do talk about Disney having worked in and around the company for a number of years. Uh, we know people over there. I don't know anybody currently at Pixar, I don't think. I knew mm -hmm. a guy, but he's not there anymore. Um, but we're going to talk about this uh, this backlash that was trending on Twitter over the art style of turning red because people are saying that it just Pixar doesn't look as good no, as it used to. It's just going the bean mouth route. Yeah, so this is on uh, DisneyDining.com of all places. And I did see it trending. We'll, we'll go out to Twitter and see the original tweet. Um, but uh, yeah, it is it is the bean mouth style. I mean, you, you would expect to see characters like this on Cartoon Network mm -hmm. or Nickelodeon or something like that. Now, it could be because they do hire a lot of people from Cal Arts. They you know, do. That's, that's the truth. And it is a newer art style. They're going to have younger people working on, you know, these movies. A lot of times they go with the bean mouth look because it's faster. Yes. It's cheaper. Yes. Now... It doesn't really hold water in that regard because, you know, speaking of Toy Story, the Buzz Lightyear movie is coming out mm -hmm. and it's more photorealistic. It holds water when you figure that they're putting all their money into Lightyear and not turning red. A Toy Story movie, yes. Right. Turning red looks uh, like a short. It looks like mm -hmm. a short. And actually, I think it was a director yeah, who did the, the bow short. Yeah, with the, I think so. The bun boy. Yeah, that gets eaten. Spoiler. But he's not really a bun. Spoiler. It's another spoiler. Two spoilers. <laughs> For like a seven minute movie. It's actually really cute. It's it a cute a movie. Cute, it is cute. I would have kicked the shit out of that little bun boy too. He was an a-hole. He was a little shit. Anyway. Respect your parents, bun boy. <clears throat> Respect your parents, bun boy. And now there's somebody out there with a man bun. Go like, oh man. That's I right. Should, call should, your mother. I should call my mom. Call your mom, bun boy. Anyway. Call your mom, bun boy. All right. So this is uh, one tweet about Pixar animation created one heck of a firestorm. Uh, talking about Toy Story 95. People were debating the art style. Um, they talk about the newest film, Turning Red, telling the story of a young girl who transforms into a giant red panda when her emotions get the best of her. Menstruation. But they... It's clearly, I mean, I mean, that aside, though, I do appreciate that when she gets angry or her emotion gets the best of her, she turns into a fluffy, big red panda and has to calm herself by brushing. I mean... I relate to it. I'm yeah. so glad to see my representation in the world. There you go. As the film gets closer to a release date, a fierce debate has erupted on Twitter over a cartoon. Oh my God. <laughs> Don't say that never happens. Over a cartoon. Hot damn. <laughs> You can, you, can tell, you can tell they're new to this. Yeah, you, <laughs> so. you're, you're definitely new Disney dining. You're definitely new to this. Uh, there are some who feel the Pixar animation and production has decreased in quality over the years. And there are those who fully believe the opposite. The back and forth seems to have started when Twitter user Bulwark15, I don't think that's their real name. Oh, no, probably not. Tweeted an image from Turning Red and hated the animation. Pixar fell off so effing hard. Like, I, I don't even know what the f good even is that. I would be embarrassed to have my name attached to this project. I'd legitimately ask to have my name removed from the credits. This is bad, and everyone involved should feel, feel bad. bad. Wow, that's a little bit. The tweet kicked off one heck of a debate. Many were shocked to hear the original poster make such a claim. Did you really think this is a person that really is like, oh my God, it's... It would be so funny if it was actually the character designer. It was probably, someone from, probably somebody from Pixar. From Pixar. <laughs> like, it's like, oh, quick, everybody's forgotten about this movie already. Let's... Stir up a shit storm. Uh, you know, all publicity is good publicity. They shot back with images of older Pixar movies and compared them with current but, animation. But that's dumb because, of course, it's not going to look as good 20 years ago as it does now. I mean, that's just like a no-brainer. Oh, my God. The worst is the uh, the one short with the baby. 
Oh yeah. Oh my god. The kids... That was the baby from that video game. <laughs> oh, fat baby. Yeah, like fat that. baby. Where you get? Yeah, fat baby. So, the, the, yeah, Pixar shorts. Our kids used to watch it all the time. They had the DVD of it, and there, there was one with the baby. I forget what it's called. It's on my head, but that baby was nightmare fuel. But I mean, this was like in the eighties. That's what I'm saying. Things you have know? changed a lot since then. And uh, the thing is, is, and this is this is my theory. I mean, beyond the fact that you've got younger people working on the movie, most likely with a, a younger art style. Um, you've also got technological advances. I mean, we've pretty much gotten to the point right now before with 3d animation, you were beholden to the limitations of the technology. Mm -hmm. So certain kinds of art styles tended to dominate because that was what you could get away with easier. I think in, you know, 3d animation, uh, a lot of times it went for like sharp angles and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Now you can mimic like any 2D art style with the right. technology they have. So, so you have more stylistic have choices. Excuses. Yeah. So you have more stylistic choices. I, that is my personal theory. And like you said, they're probably like, well, we got to spend more money on Lightyear because that's. I, I do year. think so. And I was like, who can we get that, you know, put the, put on this project? Bean mouth. Boom. Uh, Jean Dennis Haas believed that the original tweet merely showed the original poster does not know as much about animation as he thinks he knows. Um, Oh, imagine that. Somebody on Twitter took one person's post and said, you don't know as much as you think you know. And then that, you know, everything devolved into a big shit storm. That yeah. never happens on Twitter ever. Ike the Fovic. Yeah, I, I can't imagine Ike the Fovic is this, that, that they don't know what they're talking about. Not every style is for everyone, but if you think that Pixar's animation and production quality has declined, then tell me you don't know as much about animation as you think. You no, know, without telling me, you don't know. Oh, my God. I tell me this. I'm arrogant and think I'm better than you without telling you that I'm <laughs> arrogant and think that I'm better than you. Many were shocked that someone would think Pixar's quality has diminished over the years. There were some who understood where the OP was coming from. Actually, Tina believes that Disney purchasing the company has a lot to do with it. I don't disagree with that because here's here's the thing. We've we've talked about this before. Uh, I feel really bad for Pixar. I feel bad for the artists at Pixar mm -hmm. because Pixar at one point in time was heads and shoulders above everybody else. And then even when Disney bought them at the beginning, they were still like the best Disney could do. And then Disney started making movies like Frozen that made more money. I'm just... I'm just looking at this art here, and what I think, I just think it's a stylistic choice for this movie. Yeah, I think it because is. Because I'm looking at this, and I'm thinking, you know, they don't all look the same. You, you can have a studio, and they all look the same. Okay, for example, you compare, um, like, Atlantis yeah. and the art style from that, or Tarzan, the art style from that, and you compare it to, like, Little Mermaid, or you compare it to Frozen. It all looks very different because they're a different stylistic choice. I, I think that, I think in this one, that's... It, I don't necessarily think the animation is worse because I'm looking at the other stuff around it and it doesn't look that bad. And even the fur looks pretty good. I think it's more because it's the style of the people they put on this project. Yeah, I, I would agree with that. I mean, it's the same with, I mean, you look at Disney movies in the 80s, 90s, and they all have that kind of, you know, Disney look to them. And that's because you had guys like Glenn Keane working mm -hmm. on them and the characters, you know, Aladdin looked like Prince Eric. And that's because you had the same animators working on it. And them. back to what you're saying about Disney buying it. Yeah, I mean... <sighs> In some ways, it's gotten it's improved and it got it got out there more. And in other ways, you know, I think they're spreading themselves too thin, yeah. like you had said, yeah. you know. And with Lightyear and this one, I think they has had too many things going on at once. And but I do feel bad for the people at Pixar because um, they keep getting stuck to direct to streaming. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, they are. They're basically producing direct to video content for Disney at this point. But I'm like, how many damn Pixar movies have there been? It used to be a Pixar movie would come out like yeah. once every other year, and it was an event. Like, oh my God, there's a new Pixar. Well, movie. For a while, it was like Disney was alternating Pixar, Disney Animation, yeah. Pixar, Disney yeah. Animation, and now it's like five from Pixar in the last year. Boom, you know. Yeah, I'm actually losing count. I'm like, oh yeah, because I was like, okay, we got just in the last like two years, we've had what Onward, Soul. Luca. Um, Luca and and this one. And then we have Lightyear coming out. Mm -hmm. So like in a two-year span, there's like freaking five Pixar movies. Yeah. You know, on the plus side, at least everyone can finally forget about the good dinosaur. Everybody <laughs> already has forgotten about the good dinosaur. But yeah, I mean, I don't I don't think it looks I don't think the art style is bad. I think this was I think a, it's deliberate a different choice. art style, yeah. It looks um, more like a lot of faces in the art style look more like to be like Lilo and Stitch too. Like some of the face, you know. Yeah. It, it's just it's just the art style. I mean I personally am not a big fan of Bean Mouth. I really don't. I think it's, I think, I think part of it's people they have on it and mm. the art style they're used to working in. But I think this was the choice of the style. Yeah. And I think it's kind of like, um, well, Bean Mouth sort of got 
there's a that's a whole nother conversation. So anyway, we've got, uh, it's a little frustrating turning red is one of the only three Pixar movies that have a POC as a lead. And the first Pixar movie with the lead being a WOC. And this debate is happening when Luca used the exact same art style and it was crickets. No, that's not true. It was not crickets. People brought up about Luca and the bean yes, mouth they did. too. They did. So that's not true. I can tell you for a fact that's not true. So um, you're wrong. <laughs> Sorry, tell me you didn't follow the controversy without telling me you didn't follow the controversy. Yeah, so I, you know, I, I do have to wonder. I do have to wonder if this isn't uh, fake outrage being drummed up to, you know, promote the movie. It comes out in less than a month, and there has been like no buzz. Nobody's really talking about it. No, and then like yeah, like I, they said that comparing something to '95 to now is insulting, which is what I said. You can't compare the two. That's like you know. Well, now I guess that's a 20, but it's more like closer to 30 years ago. Yeah. There's no comparison. I mean, of course it's not going to look the same. No, and I remember when Toy Story came out and people's minds were blown. And But I also remember there being a lot of complaints. It's kind of like the complaints about 3D and all that. They're, you know, um, you know 3D movies. They're like, can people sit through a, a 90-minute CG animated film? That would hurt your head and you might go blind. There were literally you might articles. might go blind. Yeah, there were articles. I remember I was in the Bay Area at the time and, it's, you know, Pixar was there and they had, I think it was the San Francisco Chronicle and they were like, oh my God, you know, parents are concerned that they're you're going to go blind watching Toy Story because it's... Well, they had to put seizure warnings on Incredibles too. Yeah, yeah. You and know? then the, the home video release was like really stripped down compared to this. This actually is true. Uh, Chris Albin here. This is true. This is a little tidbit. And yeah, I'm sure this is true. You probably have heard this if you're a Pixar fan. Uh, someone at Pixar deleted all of Toy Story 2 and the backup hadn't worked for a month. And the only reason we saw the movie was because someone on maternity leave had a copy of it on her home computer. That's yes. true. She actually had an entire backup of the movie or at least up to that point. Uh, her name is uh, uh, Gillen Sussman. And she's now the producer for the Lightyear movie. So there you, there you go. I want to read this lather comment because here we go. Here we go. Can't stand it. Typical, typical Twitterite right here. This criticism is so tiring because Pixar's shift towards more expressive and exaggerated animation is one of my favorite things about the recent movies. That's fine. Grown man ju men just can't stand seeing a female character isn't perfectly adorable and expressionless all the time. No, Jamie. That has zero to do with it. And you had to go make it about misogyny when it has absolutely nothing to do with misogyny. For fuck's sake. Yeah, but of course it's always a dude. You know, it's always it's always because some the men don't like it. There's a lot of women who don't like it either. I mean, sorry. I mean, I like the expressive stuff because even our own comics, we do a lot of expressive, very expressive yeah. phases, which ironically you say you base off of me. But um, so this is nothing new for us. I mean, the expressions like some of the faces I'm seeing in this, we do that on our own stuff. I have no problem with it. I, and I, I think it's just it's just this project is what they decided to go with. But I don't think it's because grown-ass men can't stand... Well, wait, wait. You're saying grown-ass men don't like to see a little girl make it be expressive? Because why? Because they want her to be cute so they could F the little girl? Is that what you're trying to say? I don't know. So here's 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 the original poster. Uh, when Turning Red comes out, animation Twitter will wish death upon Pixar for misread. Well, okay. That's probably going to happen. This probably is a valid... I, I, probably. I will, uh, Bulwark, I will give you this one. When Turning Red comes out, animation Twitter will wish death upon Pixar for misrepresenting Asian mythology or some shit, and I will be vindicated, and that's the last thing I'm going to say on the matter. They're probably not wrong there. Uh, yeah, cartoon Twitter is fucking weird. I, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put it right out there. Cartoon Twitter is fucking yes, weird. They will like yeah they'll get they'll, they will literally get their get asked mad about something stupid and go after the people they've, they've defended the whole time. So you can imagine you know and, and think of how they go about people they don't like and even people they do like they treat like shit. That, oh, there's the creepy baby. There's the creepy baby. Yeah, I think I think I think we can do better than the creep. Oh, holy shit! I forgot how bad. At 88, because that's what they could do in 1988. Happy people weren't even around then, and then you're, like, making these comments. Yeah. I mean, this is Pixar peaked in 1897. It's just, I mean, <laughs> it, of course it's gotten, it's changed. But in this this case, I think it's a combination of Turning Red is a different art style they're going for, a different demographic they're going for, probably, and a different uh, team of people. I don't think it's the normal team of people. They're doing too many films at once and too many shorts for Disney+. Plus. So I guarantee you there's different teams. And I think that this team of people tend to be more like the CalArt style. Yeah. Um. So I don't know. I mean, this is a... this. Look, my personal opinion on this, I think this is a, a troll. I think it's a troll account. I think that they're trolling because they know... You can piss off animation Twitter. Oh, it's so, so easy. easily. Like seriously, just oh my god, this characters are they shouldn't be together. That's all. That's all it takes. Like I don't like your ship. 
That's yeah, all that's it takes. That's all it takes. And then, but then it creates a bunch of buzz for a show. And everybody's going to go watch it because they think they're doing their, oh, I'm going to go defend the show by watching it. Where you didn't give two shits about it like five minutes ago. Yeah, I mean, on the plus side, I will say at least Pixar doesn't look as samey as uh, DreamWorks did for a while. Mm-hmm. Oh, know. it's still pretty bad. Yeah, Dream- if you see the new the new one, it's it's it looks horrible. The animation does not oh. look good at all. Um, but uh, yeah, so I don't know, guys. This is uh this is a minefield. Anytime you talk animation and you talk Twitter, it's so weird because most of the people who complain, they like to watch cartoons. They would like to work on cartoons. And here go Twitter again. Makes a movie for little girls to show self-expression. People in their thirties for some reason. Again, they're trying to make it about something it's not even about. Animation bros when a Pixar movie can't heal their erectile dysfunction. Again, they're trying. See, right? That's all you need to know. Right here, the fact that so many people are trying to make it about misogyny uh, and stuff that's not even about. That's not even what it's about. That tells you everything you need to know. And of course, everybody doesn't like it as some kind of man because that's the easiest argument. And I'm so tired, and I'm sure a lot of the other people are like like me are tired of the fact that no matter what happens, it's always straight white men that are that hate everything and that you know they step right over top of any other minority who disagrees with them because they just they just lump you in, label you. Uh, but you're not allowed to label them because then that's hate speech. But they can label you all day long and then say that you're a t- certain type of person even when you're not, just because that they can't wrap their head around it because it defeats their argument. Now, I am wondering if, if somebody's going to get canceled, because that, that, that's what they said, that they're gonna get, you're going to get canceled over this movie. If you read the interview and they talk to the director, and uh, you know it's an innocuous interview, but she's talking about uh, girls' uh, menstruation and it mm-hmm. being a natural part of girls' Uh, growing up. Oh, you're not allowed to say that. Yes, you have to say persons people, who people menstruate. Yes, yeah. that if anyone's going to get canceled, it's going to be the director of the movie for saying that current climate on Twitter. Just saying. Mm-hmm. The, the person's right. They'll find some reason to cancel. Uh, it. Yeah, I don't disagree with that. They'll watch the movie. They'll figure out that it's about something that they don't like, and then it's against some community in some way, and then they'll raise hell about it. Um. I just want, I, I kind of want to see it just because I like the fact that she can't control her emotions and turns into a big, fluffy, cute, adorable red panda that's ginger and brushes things to calm down. I mean, you couldn't get more relatable to me than that. There you go. And I make weird expressions too because literally they're a comic book, um, which you can buy on shopclownfish.com, by you can, the way. You can buy um, the character of Mia is very, very, very expressive, and she makes some of the faces they're showing in these. And and you know, I based her completely on me because <laughs> I'm very expressive. I am not I am not a, a teenage animation fan, but I did work on animated projects, so I, that, that that carries over. In, so it is a stylistic choice. That's what know? it is. I mean, yeah. I can draw photorealistic characters, but we're doing a web comic, and it takes forever to draw. We combine photo. it. You combine realistic looking characters yeah. with like really expressive, you know, cartoon expressions sometimes, because I guess I'm very um. Overly expressive, demonstrative. And Twitter loves it. They love that you're overly expressive. You're a demonster. That's what you're <laughs> a are. monster. Demon monster. <laughs> monster. But yeah, yeah. So the, if she's gonna get canceled, it's gonna be for this. You're right. I didn't even catch that, but I you're completely it. I was right. like, oh, 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 you're not allowed to say that. Anyway, we're gonna wrap this up. Yeah. We're gonna wrap this up. Yeah. Please That's subscribe. The first time. Please subscribe <laughs> yeah. for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll we'll talk later. Bye.